Well, hey folks, this is John with Ozarks Backroads with you. We're uh, back in the woods today. We're in uh, north central Arkansas. We're back in the Ozark National Forest in uh, north central Arkansas. And i uh, got mosquitoes all around me here. But uh, we're on the mighty white tiger. And I found some new roads I've never been on. Some trails down in the government woods. So I thought I'd do a little exploration today. I invite you all to come along with me. We'll see what we can find here in the Ozark National Forest in northern Arkansas. So we're down in some areas I've never been in. There's a lot of those. Man, this road, they've got it. it looks like a freeway down through here. Wide enough to be a freeway. Yeah, the road crater has really cut it deep. Cut deep down into the uh, ground here. Probably trying to level out the, uh, level the road out. It's kind of off camber, tilting down the, running off down the mountain. So they're trying to cut into the, the high side of the road there, try to level it out a little bit. I'm, assume that's why they do that all right we're gonna go right here I believe according to this map anyhow that's where we're going Ooh, spooky incredibly dark in here <laughs> these pine trees when they get thick it gets pretty dark <laughs> yeah it's amazing how deep they've cut this road down Oh, there's an old cemetery here. Stevens Cemetery. Roasting Ear Cemetery. Well, that's a nice one. They've got it all mowed up and sitting right on the banks of this creek right here. Oh, we got a bridge. I didn't really expect this. And a very dry creek. We've got a little water in it over here. Huh. This map shows the road going up the creek here. Doesn't look to me like this road's going to run through unless we go up the creek. Somebody's been camping down here. Got a campfire. According to that map, it runs down this creek and then it takes off to the right. So I don't see any way that the road could, this gravel's getting deep and soft. Yeah, there ain't no road going up that, going up that bluff. I think Google Maps has uh, been smoking something. I'm gonna say the walk or the the road down the creek there is fantasy. I'm not seeing that. We'll go back. If you've seen any of my videos, you know how many times I've fallen down on these. This one is A-OK. -okay. That is some really coarse, rough concrete. It's hand poured and mixed with creek gravel, so it's almost like a gravel road. Should be fine. Famous last words. Huh. Here the, the creek's underneath the gravel bed, and then it runs out here and over the bridge, and then it's back on top down here. <laughs> Pretty low water right now. Yeah, this is super cool right in here. This is nice. Anytime you get to riding along a creek, it's usually pretty nice. And we're crossing it again. 
Wow, this is really pretty. That's postcard pretty right there. Huh. Look at that, would you? Ooh, slick. My feet are sliding out from under me. I think I'm back on my trail now. We got around the creek. This will be the creek we just crossed down here. Ooh, nice bluff. Oh, that's pretty. No road sign tell me what the name of the creek is. It's an old tar paper house. Old timey one there. Here's a little long forgotten relic from the past. Sitting here on the side of the road, back up in the woods a little ways. It's actually an old house, it's not a shed. And it was built with uh, vertical rough sawn uh, oak, probably from a local uh, sawmill. And then it's got, uh, it had asphalt siding on it. It's like shingles, asphalt shingles, except it was made for siding. They used to make that back in the day. Uh, after the turn of the century, uh, 20s and 30s, maybe even 40s, 1940s, is pretty common. See uh, houses with uh, asphalt uh, siding on them. Of course, this thing had the tin roof, and you can tell it's a kind of a later, uh, after the turn of the century, kind of tin. It's corrugated. It's not the, uh, the flat with the channels on the end like you see on the really old stuff. So this, this place probably built after the turn of the century, 1910s or 20s, or could have been all the way up into the early 40s possibly. It's got an old refrigerator in it from back in, the looks like back in the 50s or 60s. One of them old round, kind of round topped refrigerators, refrigerators. But you can see it had a floor in it. It was joist up with a floor. Yeah, there's that old refrigerator. It's a, it's an old one. I used to have one of those that my parents gave me when I first got married. Weighed about oh, two and a half tons. Uh, it was a cold spot. Mine was a cold spot from the 50s, I would say. And it ran forever. Well, it's pretty neat. Uh, but you can see how it was built here with the rough sawn oak. Then it had kind of a lean-to shed on the on the side of it here. They'd built on the side of the building. But the old place has seen better days. Trees got on the roof and broke it down and just not in very good shape. So I have absolutely no clue where I'm at. I kind of like that. I think we get off right here. Let's see if this looks right on the map. Looks pretty right on the map. This is Highway 14. We're gonna head west and go to Big Flat, Arkansas. See if they got a, a cafe or a diner or anything there at Big Flat to feed a hungry adventure rider. We made it to Big Flat in quest of uh, a diner, a restaurant for lunch, and uh, after scouring both blocks of uh, Big Flat there, I came to the sad conclusion that uh, there is no diner or restaurant in Big Flat. You got to go somewhere else. So I found my next trail that I was wanting to look at, my next road through the forest. We're heading north out of Big Flat here. Ooh, what's this? Somebody's piling rocks up in the road? Oh, the tin horn rotted through. There's a tin horn right there with a big hole on top of it, so they piled some rocks on it so you wouldn't run in them, run in the hole. That was considerate.
Got some clearance issues here with the brush. I've been going down for quite a while. We've got to be getting close to the bottom. You would think. Well, so far today, I have not met a single car on any of these uh, these forest roads. Nothing. Had it all to myself. Mm. Whew. I mean a drop. Holy crap. You don't want to go off of this. There are a few boulders on the way down to slow you up, but... Wow, look at this mountain up here. Hope we're not going straight up that. Got somebody looking at the creek here. We'll go look at it. That guy came down here on a uh, cruiser with street tires. Kind of makes me feel like a wuss complaining about that hill when he's on this thing. <laughs> yeah. Howdy, howdy. A little water down here. Oh, yeah. I bet when it rains, it gets going. I'm going to roll on. You betcha. Enjoy the day pretty down here I'm probably the only person you'll see today <laughs> well he's a local his uh, dad and grandpa lived up on top of the hill over here apparently he was doing some laundry in the creek there so I don't know where he's he may be living in a an old trailer or something don't have no water I hope he's not drinking out of that uh, creek. That's uh, just not safe. Even with a good filter, I wouldn't drink out of these creeks. So he rode that Vulcan down here through this gravel. I guess I won't whine about it. I just like it. Yeah, this road just kind of runs through the creek right down here in the bottom. It looks like we're uh, graduating to the uphill segment of this uh, excursion. We'll see if it's as steep as the downhill was coming down. Yeah, this going up this side's a lot rougher. This road's not near as good a shape. Uh, Ozark Highlands Hiking Trail. Trailhead right there. Ooh, it's bright on this government gravel. Woo. And all back towards the Buffalo River, there's a huge area of national forest in there that's only accessible by hiking trail or horse no no motorized vehicles allowed and there's no there's no roads or trails to ride anything on anyhow those horse trails that you can't ride a motorcycle on those Let's see what this says leatherwood wilderness yeah spring creek trailhead and here's the trail right here, the uh, Leatherwood Wilderness Trail. Looks like there's a cave, a cave up in there. Um, we probably ought to go look at that. It don't look like it's very far, but it looks like it's right over here. We'll find out. We're heading up the mountain here to get to the cave. According to the map, anyhow, got a pretty good scramble. It's pretty steep up here. Some big old rocks come down off the mountain over the years. This is pretty sweet. We're going from uh, kind of cool to kind of ridiculous. That's the trail there. Whew. Well, here's a big old rock that got stranded up here on the side of the mountain. This is a thuster. Well, up on top of this mountain is a huge bluff. I don't know how high that is. So I'm wondering if this cave might not be a hole in this bluff up here somewhere. Well, I made it up to the bottom of the bluff here, but uh, I did find a hole at the bottom of it here that goes in and there's a big crack 
that opens up down in there, but I don't think that that cave that would be a cave that would get a name. Um, I don't think that's the one we're after. This is a pretty cool spot along the the bottom of the bluff. Look at all these giant rocks that have fallen off off of the bluff up here. Looks like some more are hanging out there ready to come. Got some up here as well. Over my head. Might not be the best place to stand, I don't know. Well, I spent about an hour and a half circling the top of that uh, mountain, of that big bluff up there. It went all the way around the mountain. Never did find the cave. Uh, it doesn't surprise me that it wasn't marked correctly on Google Maps. I was right where it said it was. There wasn't any caves in that area. But uh, I'll do some research. I might come back and find that if it's something worth seeing. Whew, I'll tell you what, that wore me out. That was one steep climb up there, up to the top. It's quite a ways up there. I'll have to get two burritos this, this evening when I make it to the Mexican joint. Make up for that one I burned off on that mountain. I don't want to come up short. Yeah, I got some more bluff showing here. Boy, it's a long ways down there. It's been a long time since the river was here. But it left a dandy place for them to build a road, apparently. Well, they got one, anyhow. Another big view off to the left there. Can't see it for the trees, but it is there. You just have to trust me. I can see the highway from here. Whew, that was quite a quite a circle there. That went down on the Rip Creek and up and down several times. Well, folks, we've made it back to civilization, or at least to traces of civilization. We made it back to the highway. We're going to head back up into Mountain Home and see if we can get some groceries put in our gullet. I appreciate you all hanging out with me, checking out a little bit more of the Ozarks National Forest here in uh, north central Arkansas. Had a pretty good day, didn't fall down or nothing. I invite you all to come back and see me. We'll go somewhere and do something else. Till I catch up with you again, you all take care of yourselves. We'll catch you next time.